Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 20th through to the 26th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have Major Canada the Lovers reversed. We have the Three of wands in the upright next we have the seven of cups in the upright followed then by um, wheel of fortune in the upright and lastly the page of wands upright your overall energy is the gemini energy lovers in the reverse position indicating pisces you've made a decision about something now when it comes to love there's lots of decisions around it it could be you know, do we, we can always choose to love, not to love. Maybe somebody comes into our lives and we know that we can fall for them, but we decide, no, no, I don't want to do that. It's not a good time. Uh, we can also um, have a lot of choices around love in terms of, do we want to take the relationship to the next level? Do we want to pull back to, you know, there's a, a choosing between two different people. Whatever the situation is, it looks like your decision around those things are being made this week. Others of you, the lovers, can simply represent uh, choosing between two maybe companies to work for, two different people, two friends, or two people in terms of um, uh, business partnerships. Whatever it is, it's all about, you know, connections, partnerships, and making major decisions. So some of you are making a major decision about that. So perhaps there's two different uh, companies competing for you or for your business or something like that. But you're making a choice here, a big choice. Let us know in the comment section below. Are you making a choice? Is it about love? Is it about business? What's going on, Pisces? <laughs> right at the beginning of the week, we have the three of wands in the upright position. Very progressive energy. So whatever this decision is you're making this week, you are going to be moving forward with something. The Three of Wands is all about, I've taken this initial idea, I've built on it, and I'm almost there. You just need that one more wand and you will have arrived. So you could be working very closely with uh, maybe business partner or something to complete something in your business. This could be at work. This could be a project at home. Maybe some of you are looking to you know maybe some of you are building a home and you're just almost at the completion others of you could be about renovations uh, it could be about building a relationship you've just made some decisions around love for some of you as well this could be making the decision to expand on that relationship maybe take it to the next level engagement or something like that but you are moving forward with something that you've already been working on and working towards and building so making good strides here, Pisces. Next card is the th uh, Seven of Cups in the upright position. Well, this is a card that represents options and opportunities. I always say it's better to have more than none. A little bit of Neptunian energy, which you would understand more than anybody, Pisces, because Neptune is your ruler. So which which means it can be a little bit confusing you know we're sifting through these options and these opportunities but we're not really sure which one to take we have to go through them with a fine tooth comb sometimes seven of cups can represent uh searching through the internet um to find like maybe a perfect apartment or a home it could be searching for job opportunities could be searching you know on dating sites whatever it is we're looking 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 but you have to be careful to go through it with a fine tooth comb because some of these options here pisces are just not they're not good takeaways right some of them are golden opportunities in there but others mm, you know it, it, we really need to shift sift through it because wow you know you don't want to make an error <laughs> but it's always good to have options isn't it right <laughs> And it's a little bit confusing because it's like, oh, which one do I choose, right? Like, I want uh, to get a job in this certain field, but wow, well, there's lots of them in that field. Which one do I choose? Choose wisely. <laughs> Moving on towards the weekend, you've got some good fortune coming your way here, Pisces. Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. This means... This comes up in the upright when we're finally getting out of our own way. We are no longer pushing against the universe with, by introducing any kind of resistance. We are moving with the energies of Jupiter's wheel here. We're moving in a direction that's going to bring 
a certain amount of good luck or fortune your way. It could be that you buy a lottery ticket, win a few dollars. You could win a contest if you enter it. You could also go on the internet and find their, their um, you know, posting your dream job there. And you could decide to give it a shot and go ahead and apply. And maybe you're the one who gets, you know, gets the interview. Uh, it could be anything like that. You could walk into a coffee shop and meet the love of your life. So it's any type of those synchronicities, those fluke things that can just happen. Um, but it's in a good way. Really good fortune, good luck will uh, rain upon you <laughs> towards the end of the week. And look at you end off with a page of wands. The good news. This is the good news energy. <laughs> Page of Wands in the upright position. It is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Page of Wands is um, an energy of, you know, receiving good news. Because pages are messengers, so for some of you, maybe hearing from this uh, page of wands is exciting for you. Perhaps this is somebody who you've had your eye on for quite some time and may maybe they're messaging you. Page of, of wands as a character is fun, exciting, passionate, uh, likes to be on the go, on the move. Others of you, page of wands, oh, this could be, um, maybe you get you find a lucky break in terms of travel. If some of you are looking to book a trip or something like that, you could get lucky there because sometimes the page of wands can uh, indicate um, travel agent or, you know, travel communication. So this uh, page of wands could be your agent letting you know that all systems are go and everything is fine. Whatever is going on here, this, this good luck is going to lead you to good news. So, definitely looks like you end the week strong your whole uh reading actually is pretty strong i've been noticing that for pisces for the last little while your readings are getting better and better and better so uh good stuff is happening here don't forget to fill us in let us know what's going on in the comment section below but yeah the page of wands could be good news about anything it could be about travel could be about business and enterprise could be about fun excitement could be about adventure <laughs> Pisces loves an adventure, right? Uh, it definitely looks like this good news. Maybe it's a fluke thing that kind of leads you to this good news or this good message that comes your way. Sometimes he can be a literal messenger. Maybe this is about a parcel or something that arrives uh, to you. Could be a surprise for some of you. Maybe somebody sending you a surprise gift or something like that. But um, beautiful, beautiful energy. Wow, nice way to end the week with the Wheel of Fortune and the good news guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Thank you so much, Pisces, for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I hope this resonates for <laughs> the majority of you. Let us know if it does. <laughs> we want to hear about it. We want to join in on your joy. <laughs> um, so thanks for joining me. Really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.